Robotics and today we're going to talk about how to apply Loctite to your Max Web modules or any place where you're going to apply Loctite. When applying Thread Locker, it's really important to consider where your threads are actually going to engage with the rest of your build. One example of this is with our ultra-planetary gearbox that drives our steering motor. Uh, you can see that these screws are very long and the threads definitely don't go the whole way through the gearbox. They only go at the very end. So we don't need to apply Loctite to the whole length of this screw or any part of the screw around here because the only part that the threads engage with is this top plate right here. So when you're applying Loctite to these screws, which are very important to apply Loctite to, please don't forget, um, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your Loctite of choice, the one we're using today is blue Loctite, and you're going to open it, take your screw, and then we're going to apply just a little bit to the very end of the thread. That was a little bit too much. So if that happens to you, what you can do is you can just grab a little bit of paper towel and kind of like dab a little bit of it off. Because if you get too much, then it can get goopy and that's not good to have inside of your gearbox. Um, but you want something that looks kind of like this. And then as you screw it into wherever it's going to live, which in our case is right here, the thread locker will spread throughout the screw and adhere to the threads. So let's go ahead and do that with this one. So we will put it in here and get our wrench and screw it in. And then once it is screwed in, you can see that the threads are engaged and there's just a little bit of Loctite at the end. Um, if you don't see any Loctite at the end of where your threads are, that's okay. Um, you know you put it there, so it's probably all doing its job. This is just a little bit of extra that I'm gonna wipe up. And then you'll do that to all six of your screws and you'll be good to go for your ultra planetary. Another place that is important to put Loctite on your max square of module is going to be on the forks that hold your wheel. So for these, they are a little bit of a shorter screw and more of the thread engages with the fork and the whole max swerve assembly. So as we get this loose, we will do the same thing. Um, with this one, since more of the thread is engaged with your assembly, um, the Loctite is going to spread more throughout the length of your screw, but we still only want to apply a little bit just to the very tip, because as you screw your screw in, it's going to spread the Loctite throughout the threads. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It is ready to go back in. And then once the screw is tight again, then you're good to go. Um, I would recommend doing this for all four screws, not just one, to make sure that they all stay in place. Another screw you don't want to miss Loctite on is going to be the axle bolt. And this one's important because you can see here that some of the threads are exposed at the very tip of the screw. So you want to make sure that the thread locker gets distributed throughout the whole portion of the fork that is threaded here. Ideally, you would be doing this as you're assembling your max swerve module, but as things get loose during match play or your robot testing, you might need to reapply it, or as you're doing normal scheduled maintenance of your robot, it's always a good idea to reapply thread locker. So to do this, you will take out your bolts, and then we will apply the thread locker. Um, we're going to make sure that we do it just on the tip because that's the part that's gonna be engaged. And even though some of it's exposed, we know that it will spread it through the rest of the threads as we screw it in. So there's a good amount for this one. And we're just gonna pop it back in here and tighten it back up. 
Once you've got your axle bolt in, you might notice that there doesn't appear to be any Loctite on the end of the screw. That's because it got distributed throughout the threads inside of the fork. So that is okay. We're going to let it be there and do its thing. Once you've applied thread locker or Loctite to all of your bolts on your max swerve module, go ahead and let it cure for the appropriate amount of time based on the thread locker you're using. I usually let mine cure for about 24 hours since that seems to be a good standard for most formulas out there. But you can find the set cure time for your specific formula by going to the manufacturer's website and if you're using Loctite, making sure that the number on your bottle matches the number of the product page and information that you're looking for. Also, sometimes it's listed on the back of the bottle, which is really helpful. If you have any questions about using Threadlocker or Loctite with your MaxWerve modules, please go ahead and reach out to support at RevRobotics.com, and we will answer your questions there. Bye!